the idea of putting a black woman in the wrestling ring, a sexy, good-looking athlete who moved well, and, and pitting her against a white woman or another black woman, he just thought that, that was a way to really attract the crowds and really attract the buzz, and it worked. This is Mike from Real Black Men. We're with a, a great brand new filmmaker here in Philadelphia, debuting his uh, latest film. Please introduce yourself. Chris Bournet, I'm the writer and director of Lady Wrestler, the amazing untold story of African American women in the ring. Now, I, I just saw the film, great job. Thank you. A lot of information that I never knew before, and I have to commend you because, I mean, we're kindred spirits in the sense of Absolutely. we're reclaiming our history. Uh, for those who weren't here tonight, tell, tell folks about your project. Yeah, so it's this really uh, little known part of black history. It's about African American women who were world famous professional wrestlers back in the 1950s and 60s. They went all over the world, all over the United States. They went to places like Australia and Latin America and Japan and Canada. And when they would travel abroad, they did experience some racism, but not like they did here in the States, especially in the South. They'd have to go in the backdoor restaurants and stay in segregated hotels because of the Jim Crow segregation. Okay, well give us some of the names. And... Yeah, so I interviewed Ethel Johnson. She was really the top African-American female wrestler of her day back in the 1950s and 60s, Ramona Isbell. And I interviewed the children of actually um, Ethel's younger sister Marva, Kim Martin and James Black. And actually their older sister Babs Wingo, we also mentioned her history in the documentary as well because she was really the, one of the first, if not the first, uh, African-American female wrestler who was recruited by Billy Wolf, who was a white man who was a promoter, but was inspired by Billy, or, was inspired by um, Jackie Robinson to start integrating women's wrestling. He thought just as Jackie Robinson brought attention and excitement to baseball, bringing black women into professional wrestling would bring excitement and kind of sensationalism to wrestling, and it, and it did. That was, that was part of his marketing strategy. So Chris, I mean, what was your inspiration for wanting to make this film? So I think the inspiration for wanting to make Lady Rest of the documentary is that I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, where these women, most of these women lived, and where Billy Wolf had his training facility. And I never knew about these women, even though I'm African American, until a friend of mine, another African American man who works in public relations, Terry Anderson, said, Hey, why don't you interview this lady I grew up with? who turned out to be Ethel Johnson. I just thought, if I don't know about these women, I grew up in the same city in which they live, I'm African American, think of how many millions of people out there don't know, know their story. And I just think their story needs to be preserved and documented for future gen generations to, to know about and for their accomplishments to be recorded for history's sake. Right, yeah, I mean, in some ways, it's like uh, another Hidden Figures Absolutely. type story. This, this could go even further. Absolutely. You know, I mean, but like in terms of research, what, what were your discoveries? Where, do you, where did you find the old footage and clippings and things? So, Jeff, so actually, so it's kind of an interesting story. I started out at the same newspaper where Will Haygood, he's an African-American journalist and author. He wrote the article that the movie The Butler with Forrest Whitaker and Oprah Winfrey uh, were in. He's, he also, so we both started out at an African-American newspaper called The Call and Post. He now works for The Washington Post, and he periodically comes back to Columbus, and uh, we struck up a friendship. And so I was telling Will about this uh, interview I had done with Ethel Johnson, and he said, funny you say that because my colleague, Jeff Lean, he wrote a book about Mildred Burke, who was Billy Wolf's wife. You should get with Jeff Lean and find out, you two should compare notes. So when I talked to Jeff Lean, he said, if you're really serious about researching the history of women's wrestling, you should go to the University of Notre Dame. So I went there, they have this huge library devoted to nothing but wrestling history. There were just boxes and boxes and boxes of old press clippings, letters between uh, the promoters and the women. I found a lot of the uh, footage from uh, online um, film archives and also uh, the wrestlers' children had some of their old matches on, on film as well. So it was just a matter of just like kind of piecing together a lot of different pieces that I found in different places. Excellent. So, you know, for, for those who, who uh, you know, like, uh, if there's one or two things that you would want people to take from the film, what would it be? It would, I would want them to take that African American women back in the 1950s and 60s when African Americans were really just beginning to rise up in the civil rights movement, these women were going all over the world. They were taking stands. A lot of times they were refusing to wrestle when uh, venues would not let in black wrestling fans. They were going to places like Cuba and Mexico 
and dealing with discrimination there, but they were, they were tough, they were mentally tough, they were physically tough. So this tells a story about African American women and the strength that African American women have always traditionally had. And it just, they were on a world stage and I feel like they need, their story needs to be documented because these, a lot of these women unfortunately have fallen into obscurity and they can continue to inspire people if their story gets out there. Right, and for those um, interested in seeing the film, where can they catch it? Uh, the website, ladywrestlermovie.com, it will have a list of upcoming screenings as well as the release date for DVD and streaming. So ladywrestlermovie.com is the, is the place to find out all about these women and their history and the movie itself. And I could hook them with my foot, or I could hook them this way, or hook them that way, you know, or go behind, is what they say, go behind and face slam them, you know. These type of things that uh, lots of girls didn't do. I work, and uh, since they say mostly like the guy. I'm Chris Bourdais, the writer and director of Lady Wrestler, the amazing untold story of African-American women in the ring, and you're watching Real Black.